what you're going to see today, uh, dry fibres laid into a mould, put under vacuum and infused with resin. We're going to be showing you a pre-pre-carbon fibre method, which is going to involve cutting the pre-pre-carbon fibres out on the table cutter, laying the pre-pregs into the mould, vacuuming the mould, putting them into the autoclave where it gets baked under high temperature and high pressure. Hi, I'm Jacob White. I'm a composite technician here at Roden Cars. And I'm Jamie Blair. I'm also a composite technician here. I'm going to be showing you through two different methods of carbon fiber fabrication. This is a data logger mount for the FZ race car, and we're going to be using a pre-pre carbon fiber fabrication method. And this part here is a PDU mount, and we're going to use Infusion. I started reading about carbon in about 68, 69. Like, it was mind bogglingly expensive in the 70s and 80s. If now it's not that expensive. Carbon fiber is one of the best materials you can get. The strength to weight ratio, the stiffness especially, and it works best in large areas. So things like wings, side pods, the mono. It's vastly superior to aluminium sheets. The only area where the metal's still a better bet is in things like the uprights and the stub axles, where the anisotropic properties of the metal make it a lot easier to make the component than if you were to make that component from carbon. It's good in the right application, but it's not right for every application. Carbon fibre is a fabric material, like a piece of clothing, that can be laid into a mould. Like this particular piece here is a woven cloth which is made up of thousands of filaments per ribbon. The beauty of carbon fibre is you can customise a laminate to suit your strength properties. So we can customise torsional strength, shear and stiffness, and also the weight, which is a, a big factor here. The way we utilise the carbon fibre strength is by layering different pieces of carbon fibre in different directions. Like this top layer is running at zero and 90. The layer underneath, 45, negative 45, the layer under it again is 0, 90, and then again 45, negative 45. So those properties and characteristics combined is the reason why carbon fiber is so amazing. You can get away with such a little amount of it. This here is a carbon fiber cloth. This is 200 gram plain weave. Most of the stuff in the FZ and F0 is made out of carbon fiber. This is a carbon Kevlar hybrid cloth, also 0, 90. Um, something like this could be used, like say, around a drive shaft. This roll here is a double bias 45, normally as a backing layer behind the carbon fiber cloth. So we're gonna take you through the processes we're using on the FZ race car. So this method here can relate to the home hobbyist where um, we're just using dry fibers. A good tip when cutting dry fibers is to spray glue them together so you don't get this fraying. Also another good tip is use a template and a blade. I'm just preparing the vacuum bag. So we're gonna put this part in a vacuum. We're gonna suck all the air out and then we're gonna infuse the resin into the dry fibers. Once it's vacuumed, uh, there will be the intake for the resin. It'll go in there and across this flow medium here. This is mesh. So that'll allow the, the resin to spread out across the entire part before infusing right through. I'm just making sure there's no bridging in the bag because if there is a bridge in the bag, it's just gonna fill with resin, which will make a resin rich part. The beauty of this method is you don't need an autoclave to do this at home. You can just um, get yourself a vacuum pump and you're good to go. This is an epoxy resin with a slow hardener. So you can see the resin spreading out throughout the part. This part will cure over 12 hours. The next step would be demolding and trimming. It comes out of the mold like this as a cured part. So this is stage one of trimming. Next we'll be drilling. So we drill these holes. These are some rubber mounts. These are isolators for the PDU mount. There are hundreds of carbon fiber components that make up the FZ. This is three components specifically for this PDU mount. 
This is the part finished, bonded onto the car. Here we have our pre-pre-carbon fibres, which we store in the freezer, as they are pre-impregnated with an activated resin, and that will cure at a high temperature. So they're actually soft and workable, just like your dry fibres, but once they are put in the autoclave and heated, they'll go extremely hard. This here is a unidirectional carbon, which is all going in one direction. So it'd lay up in a part where we need a lot of strength going in, in one direction. Here we have a 3D model for the data logger mount for the FZ. Here we have our CNC table cutter and here's the files ready to cut that were just produced on the computer from our 3D model. Okay, so at this stage, all the pre-preg carbon fiber is in the mold and we have some breathing material over the fiber just to allow vacuum to spread evenly across the part. I'm just double checking the, the seal. Okay, so next we're ready to take it into the autoclave. Just reconnecting it back up to vacuum. These are temperature sensors. Just checking my pressure here, which is reading full vacuum, so we're good to go. So this autoclave is filled with nitrogen gas and it's pressurized on top of the vacuum. So that'll be four hours at 110 degrees. These machines here are producing the nitrogen gas which fill the autoclave to create that high pressure. These are the temperature sensors for inside the autoclave so we can monitor the temperatures. We'll often leave the part to cook overnight and we'll come back in the morning and check the graph to make sure the temperature was stable overnight and make sure we didn't lose vacuum to make sure our part is going to be successful. So here we have a finished data logger mount and it will be ready to mount onto the car. So the data logger mount that I made today is fitted in the car underneath the data logger here, mounted on rubber mounts to isolate it from vibrations. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you learned something about the carbon fiber processes here at Roden Cars.